The civil rights activist and former lawmaker representing Kaduna Central in the 8th National Assembly, Senator Shehu Sani, says the last eight years of the administration of Malam Nasir El Rufais has uh, plunged the state into bankruptcy through misappropriation of public funds to the tune of 423 billion naira. Senator Shehu Sani revealed this in an exclusive interview in Kaduna. He said the ongoing investigation is for the interest of Kaduna residents, noting that 11.8 billion naira was allocated for the construction of metro rail line without a single project in the state. The investigation that has gone in Kaduna state is in the interest of the people of Kaduna. 423 billion naira was misappropriated, was looted by the government that was in office from 2015 to 2023. And this is not witch hunt, and this is not a uh, wild allegation. This is a product of detailed, comprehensive investigation. One person collected 11.8 billion naira in the name of a consultancy to construct a metro rail line from one part of the city, Kau to the southern part of the city in Sabo Tishafu in the last six years. Now, please, you are living in Kaduna, and anybody who is watching this program, come to see, come and investigate for yourself whether you will see any part of Kaduna where one metro rail line. People of Kaduna don't even know what metro rail line is. Sheh Hussani maintained that the state has witnessed financial torture and is a victim of foreign and domestic debt while lamenting the constructual the contractual liabilities of 100 billion with 20 billion naira debt three months before exit of the last administration that cannot be accounted for. Kaduna was a victim of an opaque government. We have witnessed a period of financial treasury. We have witnessed a, a period of economic banditry under the Nasru administration. Our state was looted, our state was plundered with a lot of propaganda. Contractual liabilities over 100 billion. 20, 10 billion was borrowed from the central bank. Nobody knows what it was used for. 20 billion was borrowed from the central bank, making 30. Nobody knows what it was used for. 20 billion was borrowed from a commercial bank two to three days before handover. Nobody knows what it was used for. We have a domestic debt to pay and we have a foreign debt to pay. Go to the whole 23 local government. You will see abandoned projects, abandoned markets, abandoned roads, abandoned bridges. Many projects were simply left abandoned. He added that Nigeria's problem is lack of good leadership and accountability while calling on the government to harness the nation's natural resources to compete with the developed countries of the world. Nigeria's problem is squarely the problems of leadership. Once we can have a leader that can harness our resources, human and material resources, for the benefit of our people, for the benefit of our, of our country, uh, we are good to go as a nation. All these countries that are today rated higher than Nigeria were able to achieve that because they had visionary leaders. The reforms that we need is the one in which that will be enduring, the one in which that will uh, address our uh, default and fault lines as a nation, the one in which that will set the nation on a trajectory of uh, industrial uh, growth and technological advancement. This is what we need. Uh, a plus that we have is that we are people who so much believe in God, but what we need is also to have fear of that God.